sponsored in part by Wormsway.com, hydroponics and organics, indoor and outdoor gardening, garden anywhere, garden anytime, stores conveniently located in Tampa, Florida, Erlinger, Kentucky, St. Louis, Missouri, Bloomington, Indiana, Sutton, Massachusetts, Nashville, Tennessee, and always at Wormsway.com. Welcome to Growing Indoors. I'm Joy Baird. And I'm Holly Baird. And today we are starting our radishes in some cocoa. Now we're starting them from seed. Now there are a couple of different ways you can go about doing this. This is the way we've chosen. You can go about doing it the way that you feel works best for you. If you want to see the progression of where we're at in the grow room, the previous episodes will all be in the show links from the material we're using to how we started our seeds to getting the grow room set up and getting some of our root plants or our uh, plants in the, in the cocoa core as well as the hydroponic system for our pepper. Now with the We've got this container filled with cocoa core, mm -hmm. and we're going to plant champion radishes. These will take about 23 to 31 days approximately. They're just like your normal grocery store red radishes, and we got them just soaking in some normal water. Now things are a little different uh, in rolling in cocoa core and hydroponics than what we had intended about, because we were using well water, and we realized that was not the way to go, and the reason being, well, we had too much iron in our well water, which is basically killing our plants. So therefore, we talked to some experts and we have decided to, to use melted snow. So we take the snow that we've got a lot of, we melt it down, and then we filter it through a filter and a funnel so we can figure out our, how much we got. Now this is pure snow, we're not using any dirty snow or anything like that, but there are some dirt you know, that acquires in the snow as it falls anyway. So we filter it down and we keep a couple gallons on hand. Now, if you're in an area where snow is not prevalent, what can they use? Well, you could probably use rainwater, but you would want to filter that. Also, you can add a nutrient to your well water to help with the iron, and or you can use reverse osmosis water. Now, with that, that uh, the tablets or the to make the water pure, you can get that at wormsway.com yes. as well. Yes. So it's however you want to fill, but. You want to uh, make sure your plants are healthy because we're going through a lot of work and the plants were not doing so well. The pepper plant had actually died in the hydroponic system. So we had to figure out something was wrong and that the iron in the water was the problem. And the same thing holds true with the cocoa core. Cocoa core is a neutral, nutrient, uh, neutral based material. It's not like soil. Whatever you add to the cocoa core, the plants will absorb. Soil, you've got a lot of different microbial bacteria. It filters the water. It's just a natural process. But with the cocoa core, we want to use pure water because that's what the plants or the seeds will be absorbing up. Yeah. So first to prep our cocoa core, we're going to add this. It's a, it's a positive bacteria that helps with root growth. So we add one scoop. It comes with a scooper. And we add one scoop per gallon. So we're just going to use this watering can and then use a gallon of our snow water to mix it up and then we're just going to soak the cocoa core to where it is moist before we plant our seeds. Stir that up, make sure, and you always want to put the powder in first so as you add the water it will naturally mix up. So we're just going to water the cocoa core down, not so much that it floods out the bottom, but that the cocoa core absorbs the microbial bacteria nutrients. There we go. All right. Now our other plants are on a different feeding schedule, so we're going to feed this for week one, and then we're going to go ahead and we feed our plants on the same day each week so we don't get confused. Yeah, talk about what we use for, what we'll use for the radishes as well as for our plants that are in under the grow light right now. So we use, it's called the General Organics Go Box, and it's a complete kit to, to add the nutrients to your cocoa core so that you have the correct nutrients for your plants. And it comes with all these different items as you can see the different bottles and then it also has a feeding schedule as well. Yeah, the feeding schedule is on the side of the box so you don't have to have uh, paperwork that you could potentially lose. So with the radishes here we've got, yeah there's the feeding schedule there so if you can't find the box you've lost your feeding schedule so the box is easy to find so you're not going to 
you know, shuffle it away in the wrong place. With the radishes, we've soaked them for about 20 minutes in some just normal clean water, and now we're going to plant them. Now, we want to be able to plant them in a way that they don't crowd each other. Obviously, in this container, you could put 50 radish seeds, but you're not going to get 50 radishes. So we're actually going to plant 9 or 10 radishes in a very evenly spaced, like you would if you were doing a traditional ground garden, uh, so they have enough room on the outer edge as well as the center to mature. So it's just going to be very easy. Uh, we're just going to basically space them out and we're going to plant them as deep as about a quarter of an inch. So let's get all the seeds out of there. All right. And then, you know, if you've not seen radish seeds, they're very small seeds here. So we're just going to drop them in there. Right. And again, about a quarter inch. And these will take about 23 to 31 days. They're very quick growing, not just in hydroponics, but in general, uh, if you have them in the garden. Let's see here. All right, and we just cover them over, and we will set our, we'll go ahead and mix some more uh, nutrients up for the radishes, and then we'll do a separate feeding for the rest of the plants that are in the grow room, as well as we're going to start, uh, we've got our bush beans here in a five-gallon nursery pot. We're going to start some and transplant them into a five-gallon smart pot to see the comparison as we're doing a comparison with the pepper and the hydroponics and the two tomato plants in a smart pot and the nursery pot. So we'll see which will uh, work best. So uh, we're excited about doing that. So hydroponics, indoor growing, it's not that difficult once you understand the procedure and know the right things and the wrong things to do. And you're gonna make mistakes like we did as well. And one tip, if you're starting things at different times, like different weeks, then maybe you could either keep a notebook or you could even take like a, a sticker or something and stick it to the side of the pot and put when it starts so that you know when your feeding schedule is appropriate. So until next time, I'm Joy Bear. And I'm Holly Baird, and this has been Growing Indoors. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.